in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Chromium browser on an Ubuntu 20.04 or any of the derivatives. Now, I'm currently using Ubuntu Mate 20.04, the long term support. Now, I'm using my small laptop. That's the only one that I have Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate 20.04, the long term support on it. Uh, I just recently had someone to ask me how to install the Chromium browser on an Ubuntu system. So I have updated this system a while back just to play around with the newest long-term support. But I still have Ubuntu 18.04 on my other systems. All right, let me go ahead and close this out. I just wanted to show you that my operating system. Now, if you did find this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video. Now, as you can see on my description, uh, Chromium is an open source project behind the Google Chrome. So if you've ever used Google Chrome before, you'll be very familiar with the Chromium. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through and uh, highlighting the features of it. I'll show you how to install it. Now you can install it on a Windows system, a Mac, Linux, and that's what I'll be showing, and Android. So if you're using an Android, Mac, or Windows system, scroll all the way to the bottom and go to step number three or method number three. You can click this link here, which will open up a new tab and as you can see here, you can install it for a variety of different types of Linux operating systems. Uh, you can install it for Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7. There are portable versions, archive versions for older, and installer. So you can click on the installer to download it to install it on your system. If you have a Windows system on an ARM, you got an archive and an installer for 32-bit Windows systems, for Mac systems, and you can scroll down and see that there's installations for the Android system. But I'm going to be focusing on Ubuntu or an Ubuntu derivative since I'm using Ubuntu Mate. So if you look, there are multiple ways that you can install it. I originally had four methods on my website, but method number three, which is now the uh, for Windows and the dev files for Linux and for the Macs and Android, it originally had a test file and that didn't work or it did initially and after several days when it went to get an update it was a dummy so the method number one is if you're trying to install it by snapcraft now if you're using a Linux Mint system that will not work Linux Mint has removed the snapped or the snapcrafts from the uh, Linux repositories which uses the Ubuntu repositories but it has blocked it out so if you're using Ubuntu that's going to be the default so you can probably skip that since you can normally say sudo app get install chromium browser it would install the snapped version method number two is what will work for most now if you click this link here it will open up and this is the individual who provides the way to install the debian or the binary package of ubuntu on your linux system or ubuntu system what you'll do is you'll add this ppa to your system and then you'll update the PPA. You'll want to pin this PPA so that the snap version will not eventually install on your system. This will prevent the snap version from being installed. It will pr provide you with the deb package along with the VA API. And what the VA API is, is a video accelerator API, which is an open source API allowing applications such as the VLC media player or G streamer to use hardware video accelerator capabilities provided by the graphics processing unit, the GPU. So that's what it will be installing. So if you see the VA API, don't think that it's installing something hidden. It just allows you to have a uh, application that works with your graphics processing unit. All right, let's go ahead and instead of installing it from here, and you can, once you click this link, you can install it from what you see here. Or you can install it for what I bolded on my web page. So to start with, you open up your terminal. Once you get the terminal open, you'll copy this PPA. You'll highlight it. Once you get everything highlighted, copy, open up your terminal, and paste that into your terminal. Press the enter or return key, put in your password, once you get your password entered, press the enter or return key, and it will then ask you to press the enter key. It says for more information, you can go to that website or press enter or control C to cancel. I'm gonna go ahead and enter it. It'll take a moment or two to load the PPA or to add the PPA. So it'll take a little bit. As you can see, it's uh, going through and uh, connecting. 
now it's uh, fetching the information from the PPA we just added and it's finished. The next thing you want to do is not to update it. Normally you update after here. What you want to do is to put this into the command, your terminal. What this does, according to this website right here, is it, in order to avoid uh, installation from the snap package of Ubuntu 20.04, you can pin this PPA with this command here. I just simply copy this and paste it on my website. And I just pasted it here. So if you highlight everything that is bolded, what that will do is it pre will prevent the the PPA for the snapped being installed on your system. So you just copy and paste it, press the enter or return key, and it's finished. It doesn't take very long. And it assigned it to a pin priority 1337 on my system because that's the pin that priority that we did here. Now we want to update our PPA because we then added this to pin it. Normally with Ubuntu at 20.04 you don't have to hit update but we did this pinning to it after we added the PPA. So you go sudo apt update or you can say apt get update press the enter or return key and this will update the PPA so that way when we install uh, the Chromium browser and the codex it will actually get it from the, the this PPA here which is our third party PPA and hopefully this individual here will keep and maintain future versions. All right, it's already updated. I can now put in the sudo apt install the Chromium browser and the Chromium codex that's needed to play multimedia files. So I enter, press the enter or return key. I don't have to put in the password since I've uh, already put it in there. So it says now it's going to ask you, Do it's going to require 256 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. Do you want to continue? And it's saying that you can put in the suggested packages. So I'm going to press the Y key and press the enter key. And it will take a few moments and it's going to download all of those files, which is a pretty good size. It's 75.1 megabytes, but it's going to install by using a, almost 256 megabytes so it's going to as you can see here it's going to that location and downloading the files needed to install it now it's getting the codex it's downloading and then it will start installing and as you can see while it's doing that in my internet I don't have chromium anywhere so after it installs it it should add a chromium icon to my internet folder and I'll go ahead and minimize my browser in the background while it's installing and I want you to see the whole installation process. Normally when I review a web uh, or a web browser, I kind of highlight features of it. But in this case, I'm showing you how to install the Chromium browser. Now it's almost finished. It's 92% completed. And once it is completed, as you can see here, it's installing version 85.04.183.83. So I can now exit the terminal. I can now go and look into my internet uh, folder and I now have the Chromium web browser. So it's finished installing. I can click on the Chromium web browser and it's going to load for the first time. Now I did have Chromium on here before so it may come up with, as you can see, my extensions. Uh, and also I've got other Chromium based uh, browsers on my system that it can probably pull those from those. So as you can see here, this is now the Chromium web browser. So when I go to about Chromium, as you can see here, it's version 85.0-4183.83. It's the official build based on Ubuntu, running Ubuntu 20.04, the 64-bit. If you need help with Chromium, you can click this link and it will take you to Chromium. As you can see here, it's very similar, almost identical to the Google Chrome. It's just a open source version of Google Chrome. So if you're using like Linux Mint or if you're using any Ubuntu or Ubuntu derivatives, now there are some problems. As you can see here, it, it may not work with Wayland or in some NVIDIA hardware. And it also says that it may not support the Plasma browser integration. So there are some things if you're experiencing some trouble, you may want to click this link here to look to see and you may want to before you install it you may want to look over here and read this information to make sure that your system qualifies to actually install this third-party PPA 
and to install the Chromium binary package or the dev package on your computer. So hopefully this has been a way to where you can install the newest uh, Chromium browser or an updated Chromium browser on your Ubuntu system. And like I said, if you're using Windows, Mac, or any of the other operating system, scroll down to method three, click on that link to find your operating system from that list. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.